Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, Elio Wave uh, Strategies that reveal how to tame the dollar a South Africa rand like a pro. Right? We are looking at the dollar South Africa rand USD ZAR. I'm on a monthly chart. We want to talk about earlier wave a strategy. All right, so I have counted my wave uh, before. My apology for the lines on my chart. You'll see why I have so many lines on my chart very shortly. Let's just uh, bear with me, please. So, from here to here, that was my first wave, and then down here we have the second wave. The third wave has ended here, and the fourth wave very tiny here. Followed by the fifth way. What I want to highlight to trader, you can see that uh, on top of the, the last candlestick bar on this monthly chart, during the fifth way, had a shadow. It had a shadow here. You see the shadow on top of that uh, candlestick bar. This is no more for the fifth way. One can see a candlestick bar with a shadow on top of the fifth way. But what I have said before. Is that when we are on a yearly chart, you'll see very often that on top of the third wave, you have a shadow. If you see that, you know that the fourth wave is already underway. So the shadow that we usually see on a yearly chart during the third wave is a portion of the fourth wave that is already underway. But it's normal that during the fifth way we may see that the last candlestick bar may have a shadow like this, alerting us that people are already uh, coming out of the train. People are already, okay, divesting in that financial instrument. This is one example here. Now, by the way, feel free to disagree with my way count. If I do not have enough data, do I have enough data here? So if I'm missing some information here, so bear with me. I can only work with what I got now. So, all right. So probably if I'm missing some information, all I'm saying here will relate to a portion of the trend. So what I'm saying is that uh, if, for instance, there are some data here that I could not see, and this is probably the first way and the second way, so this will constitute, in fact, the third wave of a higher degree. I'm working with what I've got today, and this is what I can say, all right? So during that time when I was counting away, we see the fifth wave has ended here, and whenever we count one, two, three, four, five, it becomes one, so that's the black one there. One, two, three, four, five, without any area wave violation, become one impulse wave, one impulse wave, all right? We, when we were here, I was saying one, two, three. You see the orange drawing on my chart? One, two, three. We were expecting a flat correction. As always, that was an expectation. That's why we are saying to traders, in your way traders, that one will expect something, but we want to flow with the price. You see that the price pulled back to the end of the fourth wave right there. Okay. And then bounce up a bit. All right. And then come back down again. So now we have, it looks to me, we have now one, two, three, okay, in fact, three, down all the way here, okay, four, five. So now what is coming to our mind, we are thinking of a zigzag pattern. But again, all we are doing, we are looking at the price. We analyze the information that we gather, all right? And then we make a forecast. That forecast, we put it aside, and we want to look at a different scenario that can occur. So we don't get fixated on our forecast. Are you with me, all right? So, I don't have a question when I say to Charlie before, one should ask relevant, essential question. Suppose, all right, what we are calling one, two, three, four, five today is in fact a messy one, two, three, which we move from here all the way down here is counted as one. 
and this one become two, and this one become three, which means all one, two, three, four, five we are talking about is just a messy one, two, three. If that is the case, you see, that's another scenario. We will expect, okay, a flat correction as we were expecting it originally. Sometimes you will see that a pattern may not be clear, and then the plot will print, okay, the opposite of your expectation, which means something was hidden, was not very clear. You thought it, there will be a zigzag pattern, and behold, we have a flat correction price goes up again one, two, three. So something like this one, two, three. Up and then come before coming down one, two, three, four, five, completing a flat correction. So you say to me, Joe, what should I do with all this uh, <laughs> gathering of information? What should I do with all those various scenarios? And the advantage of gathering those information, the advantage of focusing and looking at different scenarios, it allows you to be prepared. So somebody who is prepared, okay, is equal to two, as we say in French, okay? A normal verti vaut deux. So you are prepared. You have an edge. In fact, you have an edge because you know what the price is likely to do. Okay? Now, and when the price is doing that, you can recognize it. Oh, now we are having a flat correction. So probably if you do one, two, because here one, two, three, you say, oh, ah, now here it is. Probably we have one, two, three, four, five. And if it's happening, you have an edge. Yes or no? All right? The second scenario that we were talking about, a flat correction, you see, we were talking about zigzag, say, okay, one, two, three, four, five. If it's not a messy three, I say, we say, go up, two, three, something like that. Okay, or may stop earlier somewhere here. We expect you to move one, two, three. So you completed, trailer is broken. Okay, oh, one, two, three, four, five down. So because of the internal wave or the zigzag, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So you are prepared and you are ready for all the scenarios. All right. Trading correctly when, okay, is not easy. It's quite challenging because a correction can be very, very complex sometimes. So those of you who are trading the dollar South African round, what should you do at this junction? That's a very good question. So after you have gathered all the information as an earlier way trader, you have forecast the market, you look at all the various scenarios, you want to now make sure you get paid. How do you do that? Look here. There was a, this uh, round button here. I performed 180 degree turn. It goes down and returns to a starting point. That's what we call a cycle point. This line here, that's what we call a cycle point. All right. It's also what we call a total retracement. So this move from here up to this point. This move is a total retracement or this move down, cancel it. So no more chart pattern trainers will use the the, the, the depth of uh, that uh, round pattern and project it above the neckline. As the prior was going up here during the third and the fifth wave, they set the target. The target is the blue line here. Can you see that? that blue line here. I don't want to remove my line as I speak to you. Keep your eyes wide open so you can see a bit, you know, right? You will see why. So this blue line at the level of 15670. Can you see why we have those shadow there? Because when the prior reaches that zone, people will say, we are at the target zone. The prior does not go up for no reason. This is what George said. And we are at the target level. And everybody's being prepared to cash on. And they did. The prior pushed it a little bit further down, up, when, which we can calculate again. Uh, so, so, so there was a, a midpoint target. So those are the things that you need to do. So, so if you consider a hard for, for this, uh, is it? See, uh, yeah, almost. Okay. So this is the half of that uh, midpoint target. All right, that's where, can you see that? That's where the fourth wave stop. Can you see that? At the midpoint of it. That's where the fourth wave did stop. We pull back to retest the midpoint target. Can you believe that? 
Are you looking at it here? All right. So now that they probably went above the ultimate target, the blue line, <laughs> stay focused, otherwise you're going to get lost with too many lines here. When the price breaks above the ultimate target, they, they use the midpoint measurement, here it is. Okay. Are, you, are you looking at, are you seeing now how this strategy can help you see here? That's where they stop a target, the, the ultimate target plus a midpoint range target. That's where they did stop. Now, what I was saying to trainer before, some trader already know that, is that uh, when we are building a training system or training strategy, one must use what? Market stable data, we see now. So, when you are using the area web theory, area web principle, remember the market stable data. Price does not go up for no reason or go down for no reason. It's always headed to a specific target level. So, as we are talking about patterns, all right? We need to understand how we can combine the area we pattern with the market stable data. You see how the price map it up? Okay? So those are the things you want to add to your area we trading so you can make excellent decisions. So where are we today? Look at the price. Where is the price? Okay, you see that? The dollar, South Africa run, has retested that ultimate target again at 15670. So after people, everybody was rushing to come out here and they push it a little bit further up to this level here. Let's put another blue line there. You see what's going on in the market now? Those are the footprint of the professional smart traders. Yeah. And the trading algorithm. So the market is controlled by trading software, trading algorithm. And they are using price target and market stable data. Okay, so they take it from here, they say, where is the next level? So when you are, you see, they take it to the ultimate target, they say, where is the next target level? The old, old next target level is the projection of this one. But before that, there is the midpoint target, that's where the price did stop. Don't miss out, please, <laughs> don't miss out. The market has seen up. It's all computers. So I want to show you something else, you see. I use what I call aggressive, okay? price target because I went all the way down to the low of this tail here but there is another group for trader that can use what we call a conservative measurement so they put it at the closing price you see so those traders will project it like this and their target because I have a line already there I don't know why it changed now should correspond to the orange line I have changed now. Why have I done before? This is strange. Wow. That's correct. Okay. One second, please. So those conservative traders, their target is near this orange line. Before I thought, you see, if you push it, that's the orange line. There. That's the target there. This is for the conservative measurement. Okay. You see. See again here. Same zone. Okay. Orange here, this one. That's why we are again now, okay? But you can see that candle, see, but look carefully because, yeah, because I want to show you that you will understand why I have, I don't want to remove the line when I go to the daily chart, you will understand why soon. So don't get upset with me, please. Uh -huh. So that candle, see, but I got a shadow. And touch that origin and cross to the orange one. So all in all, as an earlier way trader, practically speaking, practically using the earlier way principle, those are the things that we need to pay attention to, otherwise we'll be just going round and round. And also, another simple market stable data that you can also use is that the price always go right, from one key level, always goes from one key level to the next key level, either in an uptrend or in a downtrend. You see here? And if it break, you see here? It breaks a ball. See this, uh, see this uh, resistance here, this peak line? coming to the top of that kind of C bar here, you see here? The price after breaking the board, that pink line, look what it did. This is what we're doing all the time. Went up to that target that we discussed already and pulled back all the way to that pink line again. 
Why the pride do care about that pink line? Because it's a key level, just a key level. That's why it's doing all the time. It's going from one key level to the next key level. That's the rotation, just going up and down key level. That's why we say to traders, go to the yearly chart, go to the quarterly chart. Most importantly, go to the monthly chart, map out the chart. You use the pink fork tool, right? draw the trend line, draw the channel, map it completely, and look for trading opportunity around those key level. If you do that with your wave count, you would make excellent decision. So you know, you are expecting now, you see, we, we talk about uh, uh, flat correction, we talk about zigzag pattern, but here we are now, what we are doing now, we are zooming to it, just the price, what is the price telling us? You see? Are you getting it now? You get it, 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 you get it now, okay? <laughs> I want you to get it, okay? So you don't go wrong, 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 wrong. So again, look carefully. Again, also to traders, okay? Pitchfork 2, see here? The trend has started here. Well, it's a third way completely or a new trading file. It was a, an impulse way, it's a trading file. We apply the P4 to the first point here. And the low of this candlestick bar here, somewhere in uh, June 2011. A second point. I want you to know if you want to know exactly which point I've selected. Another point in January 2016. Is that correct? And uh, the third point is the low of. Um, February 2018. So with those three points, we draw our red pitchfork tool. Traders that do not know anything about pitchfork tool, go to www.dayprotrader.com, click on Andrew's pitchfork tool. And you see now? So with that pitchfork tool, you see now, we say to traders at Day Pro Trader YouTube channel to, to also draw the media line of each half of the pitchfork tool. This is the lower half. Uh, this is the upper half. If you look what, so the price you see coming down to return this. So normally the price should stop here, as we were saying, one, two, three. Then the market say, why should we stop here? There's a better support level here. You see, price was going up here, yes or no? After the one, two, three, price was going up. We say, uh, we prefer to bring it here. Better to retest this key level. And turn it around, bring it back again. That's what I'm saying to you. Maybe this one, two, three, four, five that we are calling today, maybe just a messy one, two, three. Because of this move down that forces it to retain that level. So don't be surprised if after you see one, two, three, we are saying one, two, three, we see instead a flat correction, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, which means this move down is a messy move down. Again, watch uh, that media line of the lower half of the picture for the prior. We test it. Look at that. This is a hot spot trading zone. You see, that conservative measurement target at 1.062, the orange line, and intersection on the media line of the lower half of the P42, that is what? A hot spot trading zone. Can you see the fire there? <laughs> Can you see it? Right there. So why should I say to traders now? Priority to bearish signal uh, below 1.062, and priority to bullish signal above 1.062. If there is no signal, don't create it, don't invent it. <laughs> if it breaks above a support, a key level, a further support, the bullish momentum is increasing. If it breaks below a key level, a final resistance, well, the bearish momentum is increasing, provided that it continues to display lower lows and lower highs until it fails to display a new lower low. Uh, this is about the price action. All right? So the area way principle allows us to get prepared, to have a name, to know what is likely to take place, but we don't want to let ourselves down. We want to concentrate on the price, know where is the price headed, Right. Trade around key levels, doesn't matter, all right? just trade around key level. Look for trading setups around key level. Will the price form now a nice uh, uh, inverted head and shoulder chart pattern? Is it going to pull back from this level to form the right hand side shoulder before shooting it back up? 
Or is he just going to pull back gentry to retest this level? Or is he going to continue to go up? Just flow with the price. The key levels are there. So now you may say, Joe, how do we do that? This is why those lines are there. I'll show you now. You go drop down to the daily chart. On the daily chart. You see now? You see the black shadows that how? So on the daily chart, you come on the daily chart, my friend. Don't forget. You must draw a channel or use a pitchfork tool. There is a group of technical traders that love the daily chart. Those are old fashioned swing traders. They don't go to the monthly chart for trading center, they don't go to the yearly chart for the trading center, they don't go to it, they just go to the daily chart. And they are trading a channel like this. So probably pull back, they want to buy here, that's what they are doing. They try to buy the top, blah blah blah. That's how they are trading. So you come on the daily chart, draw your channel. So the first channel that I draw is the black one here. Or the dollar, South Africa, you see, you see how the price respected the media line, you see here, pull back, blah, 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 see, and now it's already crashing below to return, you see, now this is what I was saying to today, one trader are using trend line, all right, or something that I can say to the old-fashioned swing traders, when people are trading on the edge of a trend line, that is, they forget the horizontal key level, it's a mistake, it is a big mistake. Now you see why the price now is breaking below that uh, that median line because there is another killer with the red horizontal line. But generally, when people are draw a trend line, they want the price like this to touch it like this. You see this level where the price did touch it is a key level. You see this key level here. That's what the price was the horizontal one. So don't forget whenever you are using a trend line like this, remember the horizontal key level. And sometimes people will be expecting the price to just turn around on the edge of the trader, but the price will break below it, okay, and just continue to seek a better resistance level, a better key level. So on the daily chart, combine the daily chart and the monthly chart, we can see that in a zone of that uh, level of 15062, there is a kind of head and shoulder chart pattern being formed. Now the mistake that one will make at this point is to assume that definitely this is a, a head and shoulder chart pattern. It's not yet a head and shoulder chart pattern until it's completed. It's not. The price can turn around here and go up. So now that we are looking at it like this, we can't ignore it. It's looking like a head and shoulder. Is that true? Yes. It's looking like it. It may be formed. It may not be formed. But we want to be aware of it. If it's form and the price break below the neckline, again, target, right? It's going to a target level. People will project it below the neckline, again, like this. It's the neckline on the daily chart. So on the, though on the monthly chart, we couldn't see this information. Now we draw to the daily chart, we see it. But the price is still in that uh, channel. But it's not displaying anymore higher low and higher high. Telling us that the bullish momentum on that black channel is diminishing. It doesn't mean it has ended, it's just diminishing now. It will be ended if the price starts forming lower lows, lower high. We are now at a level of 14460 on the daily chart. So, what's going through your mind on a daily chart is looking bearish, yes or no? But we are still in that channel. <laughs> All right, you see? Are you getting it now? Yes, you do. Now, also, what I did, that's why I don't want to remove the line before. You can see that the price went outside the actual first channel here. So, I did project it up like this. All right. To, to set, uh, to use market geometry. You can see that uh, the, this move up. As the price came out of uh, the first channel, it went to retest the media line of the projected channel. This is our projected channel. And if I went to retest, you see how? So, as you know, you see here, this was the ultimate target that we used. You remember the aggressive target that we used on the monthly chart? This is in 15670. So, at that point in time, you know that you are at the target level. And look at that. And also, by projecting this channel, hmm, this first channel, you see that it's also, what? Okay. This zone here is a hot spot zone. Intersection on the media line and this uh, key, uh, this target level 
one five six seven zero. Look, that's where the price came at a hot spot trading zone. And if the trailer is broken, yeah, that's why people sold it here. They came out here, and you see clearly. And now you're forming a lower high, and now people are selling again. But there is a support there at one point four six zero. Some are taking profit. There is a tail there. It's what's going on. So. Don't use one time frame alone, use different time frame, different time frame, see it from different angle. If you come out of that first channel, now it's inside that first channel, you put it down again. Are you afraid to draw a line? No, don't be afraid at all. So those are the things that you need to do, okay? Talking about alien wave strategies, alien wave strategies, Okay, I do not ignore the chart pattern, the price target. Okay, any of strategies that use uh, okay different time frame or right? looking at the chart from different angle, or right? using pitchfork too, and so on and so on. Now you see now. So those are the things that I want to bring to your attention. So. Next time, okay, you see now, so we talk about it the way we have our expectation, and now we can just draw all this line, know where the target level, and then take it one step at a time. So you see now, the pitchfork tree is there, all this line is there, and you want to be very patient, or no rush, all right? Good things come to those who wait, and sometimes it will set nicely for you. You see how the price came, choo, 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 after all this, blah, blah, blah. That's yeah, so the pink line, look at that. If they take you out here, okay, you wait for you know, this is a key level, you watch it again, and then you get your money back. There will be some losing trend. But you just take compose and wait for the good setup, and you implement a different time frame trading method. You want to get your money back. If you are losing, your priority becomes how do I get my money back? Because you have lost money already. Your priority now is to get your money back first. So, how do you get your money back? is to stay focused and cast <laughs> and uh, find the best low risk trade around key levels. My intention was to keep this video very short, but here we are, 27 minutes. It's good to talk to friends. And by the way, if you are not alien with trader, or well, I don't watch this video, or <laughs> no, this to make you laugh a bit. So this will conclude our discussion today about alien with strategies that reveal how to tame dollar short Africa round like a pro. Do you live in South Africa? Do you live in Johannesburg? Do you live in uh, Pretoria? Do you live in Cape Town? Well, let us know in the comment section. All right. As always, this video has been truly, truly useful to you. Please let us know by giving us the thumbs up. All right. If you dislike it, you say, George, 28 minutes of garbage, mark it down. If you think that this is an essential tutorial that can help other alien with traders, feel free to share it on Tumblr, Google+, Plus, Twitter, and also on Facebook. By sharing it, you are helping us, and I really, really appreciate that. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel today. It's free, all right? And be sure to click on the notification bell. So anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. If you are watching a video on Facebook, well, uh, like our Facebook page, Stochastic MACD. Stochastic MACD is our Facebook page, but like it. Uh, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, two, four, Elliot Waves. Digit two, digit four, Elliot Waves in plural, okay? Elliot Waves channel. Before I wrap it up, I want to share some information with traders. I'm doing something new now on Facebook is that Facebook is allowing us to pre-record videos, so we record a video first, all right? But we will post it on Facebook as a live video. Do you see that? So, normally on, on YouTube, we record a video first, all right? And then we post it there. And you can come, and then you can just slide it forward. If you are at the beginning, you are not interested, slide it forward, slide it forward. But with the pre-recorded live posting on Facebook, you are watching it as I'm talking from the beginning to the end. 
which I find very, very interesting. Now, the live recording on YouTube, in that case, I need to be on my computer recording live the video. All right? I can do that also. But it's time consuming, especially when we are talking about live day trading, it's time consuming. Live recording can be one hour or more, the video end up being long. I like the style of pre-recording the video and then posting it live on Facebook. So sometimes you will notice, probably you have already noticed that, that in one day I may record five videos. Sometimes I record even seven or eight videos in one day. So not for one channel alone, for day pro traders, okay, two for Elliot Wave, Joe Trio channel, two for Stock Trader channel, two for for rest trader channel, I may record two videos for each channel. So I may record in one day eight videos. Now, sometimes you may see, but I don't post those videos on the same day. So I drip them. At, so, so we YouTube them, is it? We put them bit by bit each day. So you may look at it and say, oh, George, this video is not recorded today. Yes, it was not recorded today. It was pre recorded. And now we are posting them on YouTube or Facebook and so on. But the information is still uh, okay. Uh, valid right? so if you are not following us on Facebook or if you do not know our Facebook page stochastic magd pages Google it you see it some of the video may start fresh on Facebook which means live so I record it like this too now I post it there as a live so you will be the first person to watch it sometimes I record it like this and I post it on YouTube and you are the first person to watch it. So what I'm saying to you, you can track what we are doing on Facebook and also on YouTube so you do not miss out because some video may go first to Facebook before coming to YouTube. Some video will go first. Usually video go first to YouTube before going to uh, Facebook. But now we have that uh, okay function on Facebook that we call Premiere videos, which means we pre-record a video, but we show you as a premiere. It's like you go to film, you do, you watch it from the beginning to the end, okay, in cinema. So it's like a premiere of cinema. So it's a pre-recorded. Now we are filming it to you like in a premiere. You are watching it from the beginning to the end. All right. So those, this is just in a bracket to let you know what we are doing. All right. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the GSTW24 traders talking about area wave strategies uh, that reveal how to tame dollar South Africa around like a pro. Happy training to you all and I will speak to you soon. Thank you for watching.